In this lesson, we're going to talk about the fluid grid system in Bootstrap. So far, we've been working on the default grid system, which has a fixed width of 940 pixels, and each of our columns have a fixed width as well. But in a fluid grid system, we can create columns that expand and contract based on the size of the browser. So let's talk about how to do that. I'm going to jump into TextMate. And I'm starting with index2.html, and we can make just a few simple changes to this file in order to make everything fluid. So first of all, I'm going to save this with a new name. I'm going to save it as index5.html. So we'll save that. And then inside our code, we're going to do a couple of things. First of all, we're going to change the class of the container. Instead of just having a class of container, we're going to have a class of container-fluid. That will turn this entire container into a fluid container that changes its width based on the width of the browser. But we're not quite done yet. We also need to change the class names for each of our rows. We're going to change all of our row class names to row hyphen fluid. So I'm just going to grab that and copy it. And then we'll come down to the next row, double click on it and paste. Next row, paste, next row, paste. Okay, let's save our file, jump over to Chrome, and navigate to index5.html. As you can see, these rows now take up the entire width, or these columns now take up the entire width of the browser. Let me go ahead and add a little bit of spacing between these elements. If you remember, we added a margin bottom of 10 pixels to anything with a class of row, Let's apply that to anything with a class of row fluid as well. So we'll type comma space dot row hyphen fluid, save that, refresh our page, and there we go. So we still have a system based on 12 columns, but these 12 columns are now fluid. And we can see as we change the size of our browser that the size of our columns is changing as well, because the widths are now based on percentages and not pixels. So as we change the size of our browser, all of our columns are changing size as well. And you can see that once we get to a certain point, it just stops. We can't get any smaller. But we now have a fluid system of columns that take up the entire width of the browser. And as you can see, by looking at our code, it was very easy to do. All we had to do was change the class names for our containers and our rows. And that took care of this issue. Now. Having said that, let's take a look at how we would nest items using a fluid container. Now, when you nest columns using a fluid grid, it behaves a little bit differently than when we use the default grid. Remember, if we place a column in the default grid, and that column has a span 9 class applied to it, then any columns we nest inside that need to add up to 9. With the fluid grid, it's different. When you create a column within the fluid grid, no matter how wide that column is, no matter what the span number is for that column, if you nest columns inside that, those nested columns still add up to 12. So again, no matter how wide that column is, the nested columns, the columns inside that column, are going to add up to 12. So let's take a look at an example of this. Let's create another row at the very top here. So we're inside the container fluid. We'll create another div with a class of row hyphen fluid. Skip a couple lines and put our closing div tag there as well as a comment that says end of row. And then inside that div, we're going to create two columns here. One with a class of span three, just like we did before. And we'll put a paragraph in there that says, Let's call it fluid three. And then we'll put our closing paragraph and closing div tags there. And then we'll create another div with a class of span nine. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna skip a couple lines and put our closing div tag. And then inside that div, we'll place our nested columns. So first of all, I'll put a paragraph here that says fluid nine, close our paragraph. And then on the next line, we'll create a new row, so div, class equals, remember it needs to be row hyphen fluid, skip a couple lines, put our closing div tag, and then inside that div we'll create our rows. 
or inside that row, we'll create our columns. So we'll create our first div with a class of span. Let's go ahead and make them add up to nine just so that we can see what it looks like. So we'll say span four. We'll put a paragraph here that says fluid four. And we'll go ahead and copy that line of code there and paste it on the next line. And we'll just change the four to a five. So these two add up to nine. Now, before we test that, we need to darken these two spans here so that we can actually see what those columns look like. So we're gonna add a style attribute here. We're gonna set background color equal to pound 999. And let's go and put a semicolon in there as well. And then we'll highlight that attribute, copy it and paste it on the span five as well. So both of these nested columns will have a darker background color so that we can see them. So save that, jump into Chrome, refresh our page, and there we go. So we've created two columns nested inside this fluid nine, and we've added these up to a value of nine, but we see we have some extra space over here on the right. And again, that's because these numbers, no matter how wide the parent column is, these numbers need to add up to 12, because again, these columns in the fluid grid are based on percentages and not hard pixels. So we're gonna jump back into our file here and add a third column. So div class equals, uh, so far it adds up to nine, so we're just gonna add three more to it. Span three, so those three numbers add up to 12, and we'll go ahead and paste that style in there as well. And then we'll put a paragraph here that says fluid three, closing paragraph tag, and closing div tag. Save that refresh our page, and there we go. As you can see, these three columns now add up to 12, even though the parent column has a width of nine. So again, no matter how wide that parent column is, the nested columns add up to 12, and that's how the fluid grid system works in Bootstrap.